Hey guys, Theo here. So on my last blog I talked about Elias. Now I wanted to show you my process using it. I'm using Logic, but you can pretty much do that on any DAW you prefer. I saved this version of the session with just the MIDI instruments because I already have the audio loops bounced from my full session and that would just go crazy on my RAM. So the only thing is that Elias Alpha Sampler does not work on all DAWs. What the sampler does is to play the Elias instruments in your DAW. It does work on Reaper and I know it works on other ones, but you should check to make sure it does. If it doesn't, you can use .sfz players like Sforzando. But I wouldn't advise it because they don't behave the same way as Elias own sampler. To save the MIDI tracks, I had to add each loop to a different track and brought it to the beginning of the session. On Logic, if you do not do that, the MIDI file will be imported as if there were rests on previous bars like these. Yeah, I know. So, I select my MIDI track, go to File, Export, Selection as MIDI File, or use Command Option E for it. Then I can save the tracks. Well, now let's go to Elias. So, as soon as you open Elias, let's just create a new project. So, as soon as I open Elias, it's going to ask me for theme settings. I'm going to call this main theme and bars 20 and I'm putting my BPM at 160 so you just say OK and it will adapt your bars to that. Okay. So here you have your loop tracks, your stinger tracks, the mixer, action presets, track groups and generators. So let's go into loop tracks. Okay. Um, I can just delete this one and let's start with the tracks I have and I'm gonna add 10 okay then they are all there and if I follow my list the way Elias works is that it has levels so these levels can be as many as you want and it just depends on your parameter you're gonna change those levels through here but I'll get there um, so I have my tracks here by different levels right and what you can see is my bass drum my drum kit nylon guitar and I put levels here so level 2 level 4 level 2 level 4 level 6 and let's drop these ones here the cool thing is my level my nylon guitar I have level the melody which is A, then I have B and C which are like harmonies and I can decide how I want that to play out right so I can just open here on this arrow and it shows me more possibilities within the same level so if I go back to my nylon guitars and I choose B and I add B here and C and I add C here right you can see that the color here changed for blue because it's telling me there's more than one loop in the same level in the same track right and I can choose here exactly when they're gonna play so if I select the main area I can change here the progression mode I can click on it and I want it to shuffle so it's just gonna move them around or I can make it sequential so they play in the order that I put there or I can put random. I'm gonna choose random just to have something that plays for a while. But you can change the way you want. So these are my loop tracks. They are going all the way to level six, right? Now, the issue is if I play, nothing plays or a weird sound plays. 
So there's a lot of MIDI information, but no MIDI assignments. So they don't know what to play. So how do we do this? We go by adding the generators. I talked briefly about that on the blog, but I wanted to show a little more specifically how you do it. So you can go and add generator. So let's add the bass drum generator. Okay. And I can click on that bass drum generator and I can add a patch. So when I go into my libraries folder, I can just go into percussion, last percussion, and I can choose the bass drum and the SFZ file that's right there, open. It shows up. And I can choose if I want it just on channel one or on all channels, so whatever channel it plays. All right? So if I go on the loop tracks and I choose the bass drum right here, the instrument, the generator, bass drum, Omni or whatever channel you chose. Right? So I'm going to create generators for the other ones now as well. So on the instruments, yes, you're going to mix them after through the mixer, right? But if you go into the generator itself, like the snare one I was tweaking with, you can change volumes in these tracks. So maybe you want it to be further down, so you're going to raise your overhead sound but you're gonna push down the close sound so it doesn't sound like the snare is too close. And the tree one is all three microphones, I would say. All right, and you can do that with all the tracks you have, all the generators you create. So them being in separate channels makes it easier to do that. But when I go into the snare here, I can simply choose Omni for the snare generator and that means it's gonna play all three generators at the same time, but they're gonna be with their different volumes. So with the strings, this is the cool thing I can do. I can have one channel for each type of strings. I'm gonna use the tree both for the long and the spiccato, right? So let me do that. And I'm going to put the long as channel 1 and the spiccato as channel 2. And I can add more, just if I want to, right? So let's go to the loop tracks. Now I can choose the right ones, these ones I already did. The generator for the drum kit. So with the strings, I choose strings. And then I have to choose which channel I want to use. Spiccato strings are on channel 2, so I choose channel 2 here. While the sustain are on channel 1, so I choose channel 1. You can put a reverb on the track, or you can add a bus, which I prefer, and call it reverb. On that bus, I'm going to add the reverb I'm going to use. And you can see that here is where things change. So I'm gonna add the room size and how the stereo width and how much damping. Of course, you can add more than one reverb if you wanna use a close reverb, a medium. For now, I'm gonna keep just with one. So I'm gonna add a center bus here. I'm gonna choose bus reverb. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same with each one of them. So if you click the reverb of the specific part, you can see how much volume you wanna to send to it. So my issue was that my bass drum here only plays two measures because it's supposed to loop, right? So I'm gonna go there again and I'm gonna get it and add it again. Here, I'm gonna choose on the bottom and I'm gonna say resize segment and I'm gonna say two bars. Then I can add more of that same segment here. And put two bars. And I can do that with the whole track. So you might ask me, Theo, why would you add separate 
parts instead of just saving a full loop all the way from 0 to 20. The reason is to save space. Because if you have one track and you just repeat that many times, you will save nine measures. So if you do that, you will save 18 measures of information on MIDI because you're just using the same one and repeating it an extra nine times. The same goes for my other parts here that also have an extra. In this case, this one is four. So let's make this four. All right, so I have 10 of two measures and five of four measures. That means my 20. So if I play now, it's playing on every two measures. Now let's check our reverb. So stinger tracks. In Elias, you're going to use them one per level, and you can add them in multiple tracks. You can still add multiple versions of them on the same track, like I did on my nylon guitar one. Then you can take care of the agility set settings I talked about on the blog, and also you can tweak all the part of where it's going to play and pick up beats, and also the generators, the same ones you used on the loop tracks.